So last night was the 100th episode of Love and Marriage Huntsville. And uh, we saw a scene where Letitia and Marceau had scheduled a meeting with Melody, Martel, Kimmy, and Maurice, the original comeback group. And she pitched an initiative to host a free event and have all of them get up and speak about, you know, business and, you know, provide some knowledge to the community. Well, what initially stood out for me on that scene was how production showed that they were 45 minutes late. Marceau and Letitia were 45 minutes late for the meeting. And if you remember about two reunions ago, they were over an hour late for the reunion. So I don't understand this whole always coming late to things. I don't know if they're just trying to make grand entrances, but it just wouldn't fly with me. But anyway, uh, during the meeting, Melody just pretty much asked, what was the budget, you know, to pay the speakers? Well, Letitia didn't have a budget and she was just going to have, you know, the vendors come and set up their booths and tables, promote their businesses for free, not charge them and not pay a dime to the speakers. Now, I got to say, I've never seen anyone host an event and I don't know if they had to pay for the facility or if the Love and Mayor Transfield paid for um, the venue. But I'm like, I've never seen anyone host an event and not charge the uh, people who set up booths and tables to promote their businesses. I, I've just never seen that ever. And when Letitia was trying to say execute, and she continued to say execute, I literally just wanted to throw something at my TV. I just wanted to kickstart it. So this could be the first one and who knows, like we probably can take it to other states and we may not be the speakers all the time. We may get more business owners to come in and speak, but because it came to me and I know sometimes we would just talk about things, but we don't get the ball rolling. We need to execute. So that, that was my plan. Bring it to the group and let's execute it. Yeah. First of all, I think it's amazing. I think it's great. I like the name. I think y'all should stick with that. Okay. What's y'all's <clears throat> budgets for your uh, speakers and your panels? What do you mean by the budget for the speakers and panels? Like for your, the pay, the fee, you know, the fee. Oh, paying you guys to speak. Mm -hmm. Well, I wanted it to be in North Huntsville. Mm -hmm. I honestly wanted it to be a free event. I wasn't going to charge people to even come right. to it. So I wasn't going to pay us anything to speak. Now, Maurice and Kimmy were looking at Letitia like, you don't have a budget to pay the speakers. And Martel perked up when he heard the word fee from Melody. Um, and he wanted to know what her fee was. And she basically shut him down and told him it was not in his business. And for those of you who are not aware and maybe didn't see the video I did a month ago, the expo has already occurred. And um, it looks like they weren't able to meet uh, Melody's request for what her fee is to speak at engagements because Melody did appear. She came and showed her face. She was there with her brother Marcus, but she did not speak on the panel. Um, it looks like the panel only consisted of Kimmy, Maurice, Stormy, Letitia and Marcel, and then there was another individual on the stage. But like I said, we did not see uh, Melody up there. And hopefully if they do this again, uh, they will implement a budget for the speakers. Now, Melody did go live yesterday and she did provide some good tips about what we saw on that scene. So let's take a listen to what she had to say. So I hope. Um, and I've said this and I'll say it again. I've tweeted it. Um, I think the, I said it on the show. I think the expo um, is a great idea. I think it's a great idea. I can't wait for you guys to see it play out. Um, there is still more leading up to the expo, but I can't wait for you guys to see the expo play out. Um, and it's a great idea. Nothing wrong with at all, I feel, for what it is that they are um, doing and wanting to do. I think it's great. Um, but also it's okay too, for people to have a fee. So what I hope you guys take from 
tonight's episode is not ever being afraid, y'all, to ask the tough questions. Don't be afraid to ask the tough questions. Don't be afraid whether that's you having a product, um, whether that is you having a business and you're looking to expand it and um you know you need to talk numbers don't be afraid to talk numbers don't feel like you're gonna miss out on an opportunity because you're bringing up numbers because let me tell you what i guarantee you those people are in rooms bringing up numbers for themselves you know what i'm saying like if you're sitting in a room and i'm i'm past the show tonight i hope y'all get that like outside of the show if you're sitting in a room with a group of people, trust me, those people ain't gonna be afraid to ask for the numbers when they're with people doing things or people who are in higher positions than them who can pay them. They're gonna ask about numbers. So it's okay, nothing wrong with you doing that. Um, And that's what I hope y'all take from it is know your worth, know your value, be okay with asking the tough questions. (laughs) Be okay with asking the tough questions, be okay with, do you have a budget? Do you have a budget? What is the budget? Be okay with asking that, okay? So sound off below. Let me know what you thought about that scene. And what were your thoughts about Letitia and Marcel showing up late? Letitia not having a budget and everyone else's response to the initiative. So I thank you guys for watching and listening. And I'll talk to you in the next video.